Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. I'm Aisha Rosely. Today, this video is going to be super interesting, inshallah. We've got a convert story of a Catholic woman who converted to Islam when she stumbled across Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in the Bible. I've heard this before from Zakir Naik, but I've never researched into it properly, so I never knew if it was true or not or what's going on with that so let's find out if it's true and let's see what this um ex-catholic woman has to say about finding muhammad sallallahu in the bible alhamdulillah Hi, my name is ellen i am from melbourne australia today i want to talk to you about my journey to islam uh, from catholic so um today i'll talk to you about how did i get introduced to Islam in the first place and what made me want to read the Quran. Um, what did I discover when I was reading the Quran? Comparing that with my knowledge that I and my beliefs of, of being Catholic and then that conversion process of speaking with my parents and my priest um, and how has it changed my life? Um, Lifestyle-wise, what have I had to change? What have I got to do now? Um, what do I want to do now? Um, so um, <laughs> I'm giggling because a lot of the, the Muslims will know it's, uh, um, it's something we actually want to do, whereas um, yeah, my parents are saying to me, oh, you've got to do this now and you've got to do that. No, I really want to. I really want to. Um, but I want to start with um, how did I wh – why am I actually making this video in the first place? Um, as an Australian and growing up in a society, for me, my lifestyle growing up was not a multicultural environment. So the knowledge that we had and the understandings I was taught growing up of um, Islam is simply that of um, what's in the media, so the terrorism and the oppression, um, which is clearly not actually true at all. So there's a lot of um, Australians that still don't actually know what is the Quran and and that's really, really heartbreaking that they haven't actually had a, um, a chance to actually question it for themselves, look at it for themselves um, and make their own mind up rather than just uh, ignoring it because of the, the media. I do feel in Australia we have this expectation or this understanding that it, it's the Islam, the Muslims is just for the Arabs. It's got nothing to do with me. You know, I'm, I'm an Aussie and I'm, I'm Catholic, I'm Christian, and that's that. Um, but with those blinkers on, we're missing out on so much. Um, so I just want to open the door a little bit. Um, it can either help uh, the, the Christians and the Catholics in Australia to just feel a little bit more comfortable to know a little bit about Islam, to know that it is actually a religion of peace. Um, and they, they are doing what they are doing because they want to um, serve God with, with love um, and there, there is no oppression. Everyone's actually very grateful for everything that they have in their life and, and um, it, just to create a little bit more understanding about the religion and open the door. If you want to have a look at it yourself, then, you know, have a look at it and decide for yourself. Um, read the Quran for yourself. Um so how did I get introduced to Islam? Um, <laughs> um, so there was a boy. <laughs> um, I, my husband is, is Muslim. So um, at the time when we, when we were introduced and started dating, um, we obviously, I didn't know much about, about Muslim, um, Muslims, um, but I knew how much I loved this boy. So, um, oh man, <laughs> um, so at, over time, um, you know, I learned and, and, and realized that as he, he had, had told me that uh, Islam is following the Bible and it's following, um, Juda Judaism, the, the, the Torah, those, those scriptures are, are well respected and, and must be, um, adhered to in, um, the, in the, in the Quran. So um, to know that they're so closely aligned, because I think to start with, I didn't know anything about Muslims and anything about Islam, and I, I didn't really want to know either. Um, so knowing that they're so closely aligned with their teachings, um, it wasn't difficult to live in harmony together. We had the same um, morals and um, code of ethics, um, the Ten Commandments, um, 
etc. Um, <laughs> so the main, obviously, the main sticking point there is between Christianity and and um, the um, Muslims is Jesus's um, was he sent by God or is he God? Um, in in the Quran, uh, Jesus is is someone uh, that's sent by God as a as a prophet, someone as a messenger to to prove to everyone. Um, we as as humans, we we like to have a little bit of proof that that there is a God, just so we know we're we're putting our trust in the right spot. Um, and Jesus was sent to, to to show us these proofs and teach us um, teach us the ways to live, teach us our moral codes. Um, so. My husband did ask me, you know, do you believe that Jesus is sent by God or um, is God? And I said, no, he's sent by God. He's he's not. I know we call him, you know, in the name of the Father and the Son, but when we say the Son of God, it's a figure of speech. It's um, that we are all sons and daughters of God. He is our Father in heaven, because when Jesus came and he was preaching to us, he came telling us to worship our Father who art in heaven. Um, so everything to me about what Jesus was here to teach us was um, about how to worship uh, God in heaven. So did I believe, what, what did I believe? I always, always, always believed that Jesus was sent by God um, to teach us to worship God in heaven. Um, and yeah, at that point my husband was like, well, that's not what the Catholics believe. Catholics believe that he is God. I was like, no, we don't. Um, so yeah, that, that was, that was a little bit funny to me, but, um, my husband was teaching me apparently what the, what the Catholics believe, but it's something that's always been in my heart. But, and I, I do believe that there's quite a lot of people out there that, that also have that con conflicting, um, feeling um, between who, who was Jesus and what was his purpose. Um, and that's the main sticking point or the main difference um, and a very, very important um, difference um, in, the, in the two religions. Um, so what actually made me read it, um, my husband and I had been together for 10 years. Um, he was always giving me little hints and little, you know, recommendations um shall we say but no it was very much this is my lane and that's your lane and we've got our two separate religions um i was very um conscious that he uh you know i've, I've got in the back of my mind these these upbringings and these um expectations of he's going to try and convert you and he's going to try and dominate you so i really had my wall up on that to make sure that he he wouldn't um so he was actually getting more spiritual he was starting to read more and, and get closer to his faith. So at that stage, I realized I better up my game and um, start going back to church because I hadn't been to church for, um, for for a long time. So I started going back to church every week. Um, I started singing at church and I joined the finance committee um, because I really needed to ramp up um, on my end. Um, he was getting quite knowledgeable um, and quite confident in um, in in what he knew, and I needed to I needed to to match him. Um, so that's why I went back to church. And and at this stage, returning um, back to church in in my thirties, I'm and I and I'm there. Um, I'm there because I want to be there as well. Um, so I was listening. Now I was really listening and really questioning, and really I was really enjoying. I was really enjoying it um, every week, and the, and the the priest would give his homily. I'd really take something home from it. Um, so I was really enjoying my time, um, and and I I'd known now um, that from my husband that Islam the the difference there well what what that is about is that there was another messenger after Jesus, which is Muhammad peace be upon him. And his um, his miracle that he brought was the Quran. So the Quran itself is a book from God. They're actually God's words, and it says um, time and time again in the Quran, throughout the Quran, that Muhammad is simply the the channel. He's simply the channel and the messenger to to write down these words. They're not his words. They're actually God's words. So I, I, I still I had known this and, and my husband had told me this, but still I wanted to stay in my, my lane. Um, but there was a reading one week in church and it was a gospel from John 
and it's the gospel reading i don't know the exact number you can find it it says that um, another messenger will come and he will bring words but you are not ready for it now and i thought whoa hold on this is what my husband's been talking about all this time and it's actually in the bible um well, what's, what's the priest going to say this week about that? Because clearly that's talking about Muhammad or what, what's, what's that going to be? What's he going to say? And the priest that week talked about, he interpreted that as the being the Holy Spirit. Now, this didn't make sense to me that the next messenger was the Holy Spirit and he's going to be bringing word. It, it didn't make sense to me um, because it's, it says you're, you're not ready for it now, so it will come later. But we do know that the Holy Spirit was was there at the same time as Jesus. Um, he was there at the the Baptist uh, Saint John the Baptist. So um, it didn't make sense to me, and it really made me so. But 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 what if? What if? Like I, I still really in my heart, I wanted to stay. I didn't want to be Muslim, and I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to change teams, but. Um, but what if, and, and that was a really big, important question, because what if Jesus really has told us that Muhammad's coming with, with God's words, but you're just not ready for it now? What if that is actually telling us that, that this is happening? What if it wasn't about that? It, it, it could be the Holy Spirit, but what if it, it, it was the Quran? They're all saying there's billions of Muslims, and they're all saying it. So what if I, I I I had to question it for myself, and at that stage, that's when I wanted to explore the what if. We will all have our judgment day, and and what's really difficult in this journey is going against the grain, going against what your mother and father have taught you, going against what you've been brought up. Um, all of the Catholic schooling, all of your friends and family, everyone around you, um, other than my husband, um, going against the grain is really difficult and questioning um, that that belief for me is quite difficult. So it's really something you kind of, I had my blinkers on and I didn't want to look in the other, I didn't want to look at Islam, but at the same time, when it comes to judgment day, I realized it's just going to be between me and God. When, when it's my judgment day, I can't say, yeah, but everyone else said um, it's not acceptable to God that he's, he's, he's requesting us all to read and learn and find out for ourselves. So I just could not ignore it on the, on, 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 on the basis of, of um, I just couldn't ignore that. I really couldn't ignore it. And so I asked that day for my husband to get me a Quran so that I could read it for myself. At this stage, no, I did not want to convert. I wanted to read it and find all of the errors, find all the loopholes, point it all out, um, and you know, show him how 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 wrong it was, and and maybe get him to convert over to to Catholic. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to to find the errors. But at the same st at the same time, I also needed to read it to rule it out. Um, you know, maybe it was really the Holy Spirit that they're talking about. But I need to I need to rule it out. I need to just cross that off the off the list because it's my due diligence to to make sure that if I'm committing to a faith um, and committing to God, that I'm a hundred percent there. That is why I started to read it. And um, when I started reading it. I realized that like the, to start with it was really confronting because they talk about hell a lot. We believe in heaven and hell um, in Catholic like this it's not a new concept for me, but I've never seen it written about so descriptively. And when I say descriptively, it's descriptive. It's actually scary um, and it really put me off. I, I, I said to my husband I I can't read this. It's too, it's too strong. It's very confronting. And he said to me that, you know, hell, it, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. And this is his last warning. So God needs to know that you really understand your choices that you're making and how it's going to work out. 
when it comes to your judgment day and that you you know that he's quite serious when it comes to heaven and hell. There is no second chance draw. There's no, look, you got most of it right, but, you know, it, it's, it, it's heaven and it's hell. So he needs to make sure that, yeah, you're, you're really aware of what hell would be like. So all throughout the Quran, you will find that on a constant thing um, about going to hell. And it's, um, it, 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 is, it is quite confronting for someone that is not used to seeing that. So that was one of the first things that I had to, to digest. Um, is it talking about hell because it's trying to scare us? <laughs> um, I think it's fair enough. I think that um, we do believe heaven. As, as a Catholic, we believe in heaven and hell. But have we become to um, to just you know yeah oh yeah um, have we become too laxy daisy with with the concept of hell? Um, and I think that the, the Quran has made it quite clear. Um, it obviously also talks about paradise and heaven and all of the wonderful things, of course. Um, but that was the first thing that that really sort of stood out to me. Um, Knowing how respected Jesus is in the um, and and Mary in in the Bible in, in the Quran um, was obviously really good for me. Like I, that was one of the things I sort of flipped to all the pages first on on Jesus to to understand his position and what they thought of him. Um, and everything that they said about um, Jesus really made sense to me. There was a lot of things in um, the Catholic teachings that didn't make sense to me. Um, it, it, it was it was always a little bit grey. I find the Quran. I'm an accountant, so I like things black and white. And I actually found the Quran beautifully black and white, which just made everything easily fall into place. There wasn't this um, language that if it was nice and clear. Say it that way. Um, the what I what I discovered is the um, and and I guess the way that it helped me understand it is that God has created obviously created Adam and Eve, um, He created heaven and hell and and all that's in between. Um, he has created us. Um, there's a wonderful um, talk by um, and I've put it on my channel, um, the purpose of life. And it's a really, really amazing talk, and, and I really do um, encourage you to watch that link, um, The Purpose of Life. Um, but for me, the, the, the way I understand it now, being, being um, obviously brought up Catholic, is, is you know, the, the, Jew, the Jews and um, Moses, and they, they had the Ten Commandments. And then after that came Jesus, who brought the Bible, and it sort of seemed to have stopped there for a lot of, you know, the, the Catholics and Christians. But Islam, it's it's all three. It's that evolution. So all of those um, prophets and all of the teachings are all the same. Um, there is just new information in there in terms of um, the best best practices in terms of how to worship God and how to show him that you are a good person. And it's really interesting she said that because I actually, I have a friend who reached out to me recently in Germany, mashallah, and she just stumbled across my YouTube channel one day. She's a non-Muslim and she's like, uh, look, I've experimented with Judaism, I've experimented with Christianity, I've experimented with like Buddhism, and you know, I don't know anything about Islam, but I really want to learn because I feel like uh, there's so much to learn about Islam. So I started teaching her, alhamdulillah, we've been going through things and I spoke about this very thing about the Quran being like the final revelation. And for me, that helps make so much sense, connecting it to Judaism and Christianity and then going, this is the third and final revelation. And to her, that made sense too. And through just telling her that it allowed her to uh, start watching videos and start learning more about Islam. I wish more people knew. Uh, I wish more people knew about this and uh, there is not a single drop of doubt in my heart that Islam is the third and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I honestly 
believe that and not just because of what's in our religion but because of what's in Christianity. Christianity is telling us this is the third and final revelation. So it's not just our religion that's telling us that Islam is the truth, that Islam is from Allah, um, God. It's also other religions that are telling us this also. Alhamdulillah, seriously, I feel so blessed to have found Islam. Um, when I became Muslim, I didn't know anything about religion. It's all so new to me. Uh, but it's honestly the best path to be on and I recommend everyone to just learn even if you have no interest in becoming Muslim that's fine just learn about the religion so you know it's better to know because knowledge is power and just learn and just know and it makes things so much better for you seriously and for all of you guys out there who are born Muslim or become Muslim but who call yourself Muslim read the Quran just read the Quran every single day put it in your schedule read the Quran because it changes your life it's the number one thing that keeps me going is being able to read the Quran every day. So just read the Quran, read, 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 read. The first word was read for a reason. Read, guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah.